Today I come out to the sawmill shed and realized the 10 degree blade pile here is getting pretty low. Down to three blades and the need to be sharpened pile is getting pretty big here. So today I'm going to try to throw a few blades on the uh, sharpener here uh, and see if we can get some of these sharpened up. So I'm going to roll the mill head down here and today I'm going to try to hook the sharpener up to the battery on the mill head and see if it runs fast enough. Normally I would hook this up to the battery on the tractor or a vehicle or a spare battery if I had one out laying in the barn somewhere. But I'm going to try this today and see how it works. Now this is the blade sharpener from Woodland Mills. I believe it's from imported from Sweden. Uh, oh yeah, right here, made in Sweden. And I think it's called the Grind Lux brand and they just rebrand it at Woodland Mills, put their name on it and sell it. I don't know if you guys can see that good there, but I'm going to get this set up, uh, test the adjustments a little bit, and uh, I'll let you guys see how it works. Alright, getting this set up, I already noticed that the mill battery, being a smaller battery, it is going to run it, but it looks like it's going to run slower. Uh, I'll run through one blade and see if I like it good enough. <clears throat> Tell you what though, somebody needs to replace this uh, grinding wheel on this thing. It's been used too much and it's getting pretty low on uh, usability here. You guys got to keep an eye on me. I almost just started running this with my face in it with no safety glasses. I'll be right back. Wow, this is a good pair. I can almost see through them. Alright, I stopped this for a minute here. I usually like to take a paint marker and mark the weld seam of the blade where they weld it together at the ends. And that's where I like to start and stop always because sometimes that gap right there isn't the same between the teeth. So you don't want to automatically run through that otherwise it will cut the, it will cut the following tooth right through the tooth it'll cut it right off so you gotta start and stop there every time
Okay, I need a new marker. Well, let's try this one. Okay, got that marked up. Now the next thing is putting the automatic stopper plate on the blade where I want it to shut the uh, grinder off. And I'll put this right by that mark that I just made with the yellow paint marker. There's a little better shot of the automatic uh, stopper that shuts off the grind wheel and the advancer on the blade sharpener here. Pretty simple device but it does allow it so you can walk away while it's sharpening and it will shut itself off. Um, I don't trust it a hundred percent. I've had it not function correctly and only shut off the uh, advancer and leave the uh, wheel turning or vice versa so I don't travel very far away while I'm using this. Alright got that set up let's uh, continue on here. We'll meet you guys back here in about 20 minutes. It'll be done. Okay, here comes this shutoff device here, this little bracket we placed on the blade. It's worked its way all the way around. Now it's going to come up and hit these two switches, and it's supposed to shut them both off. Uh, let's see how it works.
Here we go, the next tooth should shut off. There it is, it worked. This bracket ran into these two switches right here and shut them off perfectly. So I'm going to pull this bracket off now. And I have one, two, three, four, five, five more teeth to sharpen and I'll be all done. I could have set the bracket further behind a little bit more and got those teeth, but I like to play it on the safe side. So I'm going to touch up the rest of these teeth and this blade will be done. Okay, that's all the teeth sharpened. Uh, once in a while you might have seen me come up and adjust this follower rod just a little bit um, because this controls how far each tooth gets pushed ahead or how far it doesn't get pushed ahead. And sometimes the teeth aren't all exactly the same distance apart so sometimes it'll, it'll uh, not take as much off one tooth as it did another so I'll have to run up and uh, adjust this a little bit. That's part of the reason why I don't think this is a 100% walk away and let it go type uh, sharpener. But it does well for us. My dad and I have got a lot of use out of this and man it saved a lot of money on blades. Uh, I'm going to say we probably get 8 maybe 10 sharpenings on each blade before we have to throw it away and it's and it's uh, not usable anymore. So the other route of buying a new blade every time using a new blade, that that just isn't uh, feasible for me. So uh, Dad ended up picking this up used for us. I think it was, uh, I want to say it was $800, but it was less than the new price. And I'm not sure what these go for now. I'm sure like everything else, the price is jacked way up so uh, you can check these out on Woodland Mills website and uh, I'm gonna get this blade put onto the sharpened pile now and it'll be ready for use So there's another sharp blade ready to go on the 10 degree blade pile. Uh, the 10 degree blade is our most used blade. Um, it's a pretty general use degree blade for any wood really. Um, then we also have the 7 degree blades which seem to work a little better uh, on hardwoods and frozen woods. Um, that's what works for us. Uh, if you guys have any different experience on another degree blade maybe I should try, let me know. Um, the same goes for brand of blades. Uh, these are, uh, Timbery is the brand of these blades. I'm not sure if we can get them anymore. It's been about a year since we bought blades. But these are Timbery brand. I've also tried uh, the Woodland Mills brand which is a Lennox blade. I didn't care for those as much as these. Um, I know other people have used uh, wood miser blades uh, and there's a few other brands out there but if you want let me know in the comments below on this type of mill what is the best brand or model blades you guys have found that works the best for you. Uh, that's going to be it for this video today. I appreciate you guys taking time to watch. If you wouldn't mind uh, liking and subscribing this video, it would help me out a lot. I really appreciate it. So we'll see you guys on the next video. See ya.